Okay, so we'll move on to our next presenter. So Matt Allen, uh, president of Indiana Distribution for Paragon 28. Um, they are a provider of lower extremity adult and pediatric orthopedic surgical implants. That is a mouthful, by the way, Matt. <laughs> um, and uh, um, I appreciate you attending and, and welcome. Go ahead and uh, tell us all about you. Okay, yeah, uh, thanks. Um, I uh, recently, uh, with the COVID situation, um, we were 90% uh, or 80% of what we do is elective procedures, so we were hit pretty hard. Um, and so um, now the electives are getting put back on. We're starting to get busy. And then, um, yeah, you asked me to, to do this presentation. And I'm thankful to be a part of it. Um, I wasn't really sure what exactly to put together, so I hope that this is good. I figured I'd talk a little bit about myself, my business, and then my mission, because uh, I know a Nexus Impact Center um, is, is also mission-based, and I wanted to talk about that as well. So the comp um, so my name is Matt Allen. I'm the distributor for Paragon 28. I, the name of my distributorship is XL Orthopedics. So I represent a, a foot and ankle orthopedic implant company called Paragon 28. Um, so I figured I'd quickly talk about myself, my business, my mission, and through us practicing here a little bit ago, we found out that we can actually play a video. So I'm going to play a three minute video on my mission. Um, so myself, um, I'm originally from Southern Indiana, a wonderful town called Floyd's Knobs, Indiana. Um, I went to uh, college at the University of Southern Indiana. I got accepted to go to Harvard University. Um, but then University of Southern Indiana decided to accept me. So I naturally went there instead. Um, that's a joke. Um, I currently live in Westfield, Indiana right now. Um, and um, I, uh, sorry about that. Uh, currently live in Westfield, Indiana and I'm married with uh, two beautiful kids. Um, here's a picture of my family. Um, we have two, well actually we lost the little golden on the left there. We lost him a couple months ago. Um, but uh, he's still considered part of the family, so I figured I'd include him on the picture. Um, um, some of the hobbies I like to do is uh, I really enjoy family time. Uh, really, and the, the bittersweet about COVID is it's been um, very slow and somewhat devastating for my business. Um, but uh, the blessing is, is I I haven't I tell my wife I haven't slept this much in five years, <laughs> 15 years, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I've been working out almost every day. Uh, spending a lot of time with my family. So I feel like it's been a blessing in disguise. Um, again, I enjoy working out with weights and uh, running. Uh, my wife and I really enjoy concerts. Um, and again, hanging out with our friends. Um, my wife and I are, are pretty uh, involved at Mercy Road Christian Church. We go to the Mercy Road Christian Church there in Carmel. Um, on 116th and Keystone. Um, so that's a little bit about myself. Um, my business here, whoops. Um, so my career, I've been doing surgical sales um, since 2015. Um, and so surgical sales, basically what that means is, um, you know, the orthopedic surgeon uses plates and screws and whatnot to fix a person. Um, and I would, you know, my goal is to have that orthopedic surgeon use my implants to fix that person. And then if they do, um, the, the glamour part of the job, I say, is that we get to go into surgery with the surgeon, uh, make sure that they're using the equipment properly, or if they have questions or concerns, we're able to answer those questions, give advice. Um, I see ourselves as more of like an advisor to a surgeon. Um, so that's what we do. Uh, my initial job, I was a direct employee for a medical device company. Started in 2015. I worked for them for seven years. I did a lot of really good in sales accomplishments. Um, then I kind of had a falling out, so to speak, with the company. Um, long story short, I ended up losing my job. And um, I decided I wanted to do my own thing. I wanted to start my own distributorship, my own business. And so in 2012, I started XL Orthopedics and um, I ended up meeting this uh, manufacturer called Paragon 28 in uh, 2013 
and I partnered with them. Um, again, what I talked about is, you know, what do we do um, as a surgical medical device rep? Uh, we advise surgeons and answer questions when they use our equipment in surgery. Um, our goal is to help the surgeon become comfortable with our equipment and ultimately get a, a, a really good patient outcome. Um, I started this with uh, just myself. Um, I lost my job again. My wife was pregnant and I said I wanted to do my own thing. And she's like, okay, <laughs> you, I'm pregnant and you're wanting to start your own thing. But I just believed in myself and I figured I knew I could do it. So I started it with basically zero dollars and I was on my own. And I've been blessed and, and the company I partner with has got absolutely fantastic products. And um, now um, I'm, I have nine guys that partner with me and we do five, we're going to probably do about five million in sales this year. So we've, we've been blessed and we've come a long way. Um, the company I partner with is called Paragon 28. There's 28 bones in the foot. So um, that's, it's in the name. Um, all we do is foot and ankle. The foot and ankle orthopedic market has been an untouched market. Anytime you talk to someone about orthopedics, they immediately think of hips or knees. Uh, or maybe even spine, but you don't hear people talk about foot implants. Um, if you get your bunion, like if you have a bunion and you go to get it fixed, you're usually not walking for six weeks or eight weeks. If you get a total knee, you're in outpatient surgery and you're probably walking the same day. So here you can get a complete total knee reconstruction, walk the same day, get a bunion fixed, and you can't walk for six weeks. Doesn't, doesn't sound right. So our company is, is focused on helping patients get up, helping them walk through innovation. We do a lot with research and we do a lot with education. Um, so that's, that's who we are. Um, I've got three other guys and my main office is there in the Nexus Center, as you could probably see us in that corner with all the funny purple furniture and all that stuff. Um, I've got a great group of guys that um, we're always coming in and out of there. So feel free to say hi and introduce yourself to us if you see us passing by. Um, my mission is um, Kairos, um, so Kairos Prison Ministry, I'm not sure if you guys have ever heard of it, but Kairos Prison Ministry follows along the lines, if anyone's ever been involved in like an Emmaus Walk or a Great Banquet, which is like a three-day um, Christian uh, type weekend, um, Kairos Prison Ministry is a faith-based uh, ministry. We go into prison um, and we basically... Um, tell the tell the guys in there about about the Lord. Um, nothing's forced on them. It's a non-denominational weekend. And um, here's a quick little video I want to play that kind of talks about the impact. And then I'll finish up, and then we'll be done. I'm gonna tell you about Kairos. This prison ministry that comes inside the walls to dead men. A lot of people say we dead men. But I was just a mad man. Everybody got a story. When you really get touched by God, that's when you know you got a real story. Well, my name is Tommy Fisher. I was born and raised in Los Angeles, California. I grew up in the street gangs there. I got a lot of trouble. I ended up doing 20 years, 11 months flat in prison. I had an aggravated life sentence. I wasn't supposed to never get out. I ran the gangs in prison, you know, and I hurt a lot of men for some crazy reasons. I used to actually get Christians beat up because they say they wanted to come to Christ. That's how crazy and radical I was. But when they picked Kairos, they only picked the worst inmates on the unit because they want the roughest dudes on the unit, the fools, to get changed. And this ministry is actually going in here and showing this love and changing people like that. I'm going to tell you the truth. I went for their food. I didn't go to get saved. But God had set me up when I was sitting there, man. You know, I was listening to this dude talk. You know, when Paul was on the road to Damascus, Jesus, just Jesus' presence knocked him off the horse. I know for a fact I felt the presence of the Holy Spirit. I felt it like Paul felt it. From that day forth, God's just been blessing my life. While I was in that prison, I got into this third pond theological seminary and Bible Institute. I got a bachelor's degree in biblical studies. I also went to college and I got an LBT. I just thank God for God blessed me. 
I got a license to counsel. You know, I really thank God for what he changed me into because I used to be a monster. I used to really be a monster. The only reason why I don't know if I ever killed a man because I never went back and asked the man who I shot was he dead. But I shot a lot of people. I hurt a lot of people's lives. But ministries like Kairos can go inside the walls and show a man it's God's love. Man, if I could tell anybody, anybody about Kairos, man, it's changing lives. I got to get God back what he gave me. He gave me back my life. He gave me them years that the locust stole from me. He gave them back to me. And I'm thankful for it. So yeah, I like that video because it's, uh, it's pretty powerful. But uh, that's the, the mission that I'm a part of. Um, whoops. So I, I sponsor a prison ministry outpost with uh, Mercy Road. And um, so we're looking for people to join the outpost. Um, but uh, we were supposed to go into Pendleton in April, but they got canceled because of the COVID, obviously. Um, it got rescheduled in October. And so we're uh, pretty excited about that. Um, there's other prison ministries within Kairos. There's a women's uh, prison ministry. There's juvenile and um they're they're always looking for help so that's my mission that's my business and that's who i am uh if you have any interest or know anyone that'd be interested in something like this uh please feel free to uh reach out to me so thank you very much and I'll hey, matt is kairos in all 50 states yes okay okay so is there just one kairos in indiana or multiple um, there's Kairos of, uh, excuse me, sorry about that. There's Kairos of Indiana. And then within Indiana, there's different chapters. So Michigan city where there's death row inmates, there's actually a Kairos up there. Um, and then I'm a part of the one in uh, Pendleton correctional facility. And so Pendleton correctional facility is, it's a maximum security prison. And so there's some pretty tough guys in there, but, uh, but they are a part of different prisons within each state so kairos of florida kairos of indiana et cetera, et cetera. and there's they're in 426 prisons in the united states it's a very large ministry that not that many people know about and um but uh it's a pretty cool ministry to be a part of so matt is it just you that goes in or is it other people in your organization Oh uh, yeah. So yeah. So I guess I should explain more about that. So as far as my, my, my own business, I'm the only one who actually goes in, uh, but my business helps financially support uh, Kairos here locally. Um, there's about 40 men that go in to Kairos into the prison. We go in on a Thursday and we come out Sunday. Every night we go home and sleep on our own beds, but we're there from a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, and it's usually men from all over Indianapolis. I mean, Zionsville Fellowship, Zionsville Christian Church, Traders Point Christian Church. Um, I'm the only one at Mercy Road that I know that's, that's, that's a part of it. Um, but churches throughout, you know, it, it doesn't matter your, your denomination. Um, it's, it's men from all over Indianapolis. And we do twice a year. We go in two times a year. Um, and then we have um, Bible studies there every Wednesday with the uh, residents and then we have like a reunion thing once a year so there's a lot and again it's in every prison so the the uh there's a women's prison in new pal i think um that, that there's a kairos part of that there's a juvenile detention center that they're a part of they're a part of uh downtown um and then um at, at newcastle there's a prison um so they're they're a part of a lot and they need they definitely need help so it's not just me. <laughs> Any other questions? I know it's kind of a lot. <laughs> well, thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks, Matt. And you uh, definitely got my attention that you were actually in the operating room. Oh, my goodness. Um, so Thanks for um, being there prayerfully, I'm sure. Uh, so um, good work. Um, and wow, as far as the prisons, um, 
that's having a friend who is a, a, a guard, that is definitely a, a, a blessing to have you there. So 